Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> oh man, what what a wonderful adventure this is. And and uh, Christian, you do such a great job for being eleven. Um, what uh, what inspires you to be an actor? What really inspires me to be an actor is just to, you know have fun, do new experiences, meet new people. That's what I really love about acting, you know, you, you always get to try something new. And that's why acting is so fun and thrilling. And that's what I really love about it. Because, you know, now here I am talking to you about Sweet Tooth after getting to portray the role of Gus in Jeff Lemire's DC comic, now run into a series. So it's such an honor to be able to do this. So it's super fun. Uh, Nanzo, your character is is fascinating. Uh, you know, I know you're a Shakespearean actor. Do you find a little Shakespeare in this role? Yeah, I, I think I'm, because I'm, you know, I started off working on in the theater and breaking down characters and understanding how to, you know, get into the bones of a character. But I, I, I so as soon as I read this, it kind of spoke to me. I think Jeff Lemire's work, has been handled with such care that they've created something. And for me personally, created a character that is so many, so is multi-layered. He's not just two dimensional. He's very, he's got a past. He's hoping to have, there is a little bit of hope inside him that somehow when he, when Tommy Jeppard, my character, meets um, Christian's character, Sweet Tooth or Gus, his, his hope and optimism bleeds into my character and you start to see a transformation as the series goes on. And I think for me, when I see something like that in a, in a story arc, it's really attractive for me to play because it challenges you in, in ways that other roles don't as an actor. Uh, tell me a little bit about the makeup process, Christian. Um, so... It all started with me getting a mold in my head. So what a mold is is when they put layers of paste and glue on you, and that's what I did. And they use that to create an outline of you, and they can use that to create an outline for a skull cap of your head. And on the day, they'll put that skull cap on you and with glue and everything like that. And then the skull cap has these two little magnetic subs that the antlers can detach and reattach to because they're also magnetic, which is pretty funny. And um, the ears are remote controlled by puppeteer who sits at the camera and watches me do, um, you know, my feelings and senses as a deer. And I really like that teamwork aspect that me and the puppeteer have to do to make Gus's ears come alive. How many hours did it take to get you fully made up? So at first it took maximum an hour, but as the series went on and we got so used to it, it took about like half an hour usually i'd say so it's pretty quick nonzo the cast is just amazing they're all spot on perfect um does that buoy up your performance as well having a great cast like this i think for me whenever you work with with high quality top quality actors it's always going to make you raise your game it's always going to inspire you to to bring your a game and i think that's what happened with this show you know, as well as working with Christian, we got to work with Adil Akhtar, with um, Dania Ramirez, Stefania Owen, um, just so many amazing actors on here. And also working with Robert Downey Jr. and his wife, Susan Downey, overlooking you, you kind of know those, I, I mean, I've respected and admired um, Robert Downey Jr.'s career for many, many years. I mean, um, Charlie, his portrayal of Charlie Chaplin was one of the things that really inspired me. To, to really carry on with this career, my career in acting. So to get to work with him as we have, has just really caused us to really give everything we could to, to this production. Kristen, in our final moments we have together, what do you think audiences are gonna take away when they watch this series? I think audiences are gonna take away a message of hope because Gus is always full of hope and you know that might seep into you too. Because, you know, you really do need that hope, optimism, and positivity to get through dark times, like, let's say, COVID right now. COVID's a dark time. You do need hope and optimism to get through it. And what I really love about this show is how we took it from a super dark comic and made it more family-friendly, so that way the whole family can watch it and take away that message of hope together. Yeah. 
gentlemen, we can watch the entire series on Netflix, binge it. Uh, it is a terrific series and so full of hope and just beautifully filmed. So thank you guys so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.